when the debate for the greatest ODI player in the modern era is raised. The name Virat Kohli is definitely one that comes up the most often. Kohli goes out of the ground. A cricketer who makes other teams feel that pressure as he possesses the skill and experience to single-handedly turn the game in India's favor. From Virat Kohli. His balanced batting style built his reputation as one of the greatest run chasers in the history of cricket. Other teams have to strategize different plans just to stop him to steal the game away. A deadly batsman who is considered on the level of the legend himself, Sachin Tendulkar. The journey to the top wasn't easy for Virat Kohli. When I play, I literally leave everything on the field and that's why. Rather, his life is full of ups and downs that pave the way for future generations to witness how far can anyone go with only hard work and determination? Believing that if I had the jersey on, I would have done it. I've designed my life to be able to keep up with those intensity levels and train accordingly, eat accordingly. So I've changed my life according to my own character rather than curbing my character down. Virat Kohli, superstar of the game. He's the best player in the world. Virat Kohli. We're going to lose another one because of Kohli. To be supremely fit. Oh, Virat's played one of those knocks that might cost India the game. Virat Kohli, this is a sensational hit from Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli, born on November 5, 1988 in Delhi, India, belonged to a Hindu Punjabi family. Born to a criminal lawyer father and a mother who supported the family as a housewife, Kohli was the youngest son of the family. His passion for cricket was there since childhood as he trained at the West Delhi Cricket Academy. It was there where he showed his talent and skill in the sport, overcoming many challenges and getting selected in Delhi's under-15 team. But his path to reach the under-15 team wasn't that easy. Falling victim to nepotism, he was rejected from the under-14 team. Even though many clubs offered Kohli's father to come to many renowned clubs, he rejected them all, wanting him to earn his recognition by his own merit. Owning his right to play in the midst of the systematic nepotism and deceitful practices seen in the Delhi and District Cricket Association. But his life's greatest tragedy hit when he lost his father just at the age of nine. But losing his father didn't waver his determination. His commitment, practice, and unwavering drive to excel in his childhood helped shape his game. Virat Kohli's cricket journey gained momentum when he led the under-19 Indian team to glory in the 2008 under-19 World Cup. His outstanding batting and leadership skills impressed the selectors. His domestic performance were also consistent and impressive, earning him a reputation as a future star. He was versatile and adaptable to different formats, and he had a thirst for runs. He got his chance to play for the senior team in an ODI against Sri Lanka in August 2008, which marked the beginning of his international career. A half century for Kohli. Before his international debut, Kohli proved his talent in domestic cricket. Playing for Delhi in the Ranji Trophy, he scored runs regularly. His breakthrough came in the 2006-2007 season when he hit 257 runs against Karnataka, registering his first double century in first-class cricket. Kohli's domestic success continued, and he became one of Delhi's key players. In the 2008-2009 Ranji Trophy season, he scored 757 runs in just seven matches. His performances caught attention, and his selection for the national team became unavoidable. With that, Kohli's international career began in August 2008 when he played his first one-day international match against Sri Lanka in Dambula. He did not score much in his initial matches, but his technique and temperament at the crease showed his potential. The turning point came when he scored a vital 54 runs against Sri Lanka in a tough run chase, showing his ability to handle high-pressure situations. His innings showed his calmness and skill, indicating a bright future in international cricket. Kohli's early international journey had its ups and downs, as expected of a young cricketer. However, his talent and determination were unmistakable. His first century in the 2011 World Cup against Bangladesh secured his spot in the team and revealed the extraordinary batting prowess that he had. As he became more comfortable in the Indian team, his consistency and hunger for runs became more apparent. His skill for timing, innings, and chasing down targets earned him respect and made him a key player in India's batting lineup. Kohli's early days in international cricket set the stage for a career filled with many records, awards, and a reputation as one of the best batsmen of the modern game. 
Moreover, Kohli's tenure in the Indian Premier League with the Royal Challengers Bangalore further enhanced his credentials as a remarkable player. His aggressive yet consistent batting style made him a key player in the RCB lineup, earning him widespread recognition and helped to set the stage for his illustrious international career. Virat Kohli started with his IPL journey with the Royal Challengers Bangalore. He has been a part of the franchise since the first IPL season in 2008 and has played a vital role in the team. In the beginning, his performances were good, but over time his impact became truly remarkable. IPL gave Kohli an opportunity to display his talent on a global stage at the early stage of his career. His progress in the tournament reflected his improvements as a player. From being a promising youngster to becoming the captain of RCB, his IPL journey marked important milestones in his career. In the IPL, Kohli's batting consistency has been amazing. He is the tournament's highest run scorer across seasons and also has the record for most runs in a single edition of IPL in 2016 with 973 runs. His huge amount of runs, along with his ability to adjust different conditions and perform under pressure, has been impressive. Kohli's aggressive yet smart approach in the shortest format of the game earned him respect and made him one of the most successful batsmen in T20 cricket. His leadership journey with RCB started in 2013 when he was made vice captain, and in 2016 he became the captain. Under his leadership, RCB experienced both highs and lows, but Kohli's dedication and passion for the team never changed. His leadership in the IPL contributed a lot to his overall growth as a captain and player. IPL also gave Kohli the chance to learn from and compete with some of the world's best cricketers. The exposure and experience gained in the high-pressure situations of IPL matches played a key role in shaping his temperament and approach to international cricket. Overall, the IPL served as a crucial platform for Kohli's development as a batsman, leader, and strategist, allowing him to sharpen his skills, handle tough situations under pressure, and evolve as one of the most consistent and influential cricketers in the world of modern times. What a shot. Virat Kohli's cricket career reached new heights after 2010, marked by amazing consistency, numerous milestones, and a prolific run across all formats. His journey post-2010 witnessed a tremendous rise in his batting prowess. He became one of the top batsmen in limited overs cricket, showing incredible skill in run chases and an ability to play innings with accuracy. In ODIs, Kohli's run-making prowess became a trademark of his game. He scored runs at a phenomenal rate, regularly hitting centuries and playing crucial innings for India. His adaptability to different conditions and his expertise over chasing targets made him a standout performer in the format. His consistency in ODIs, averaging over 50 for a long period, set him apart as one of the modern greats. Similarly, in Test cricket, Kohli's batting prowess saw a remarkable rise. His technique, combined with mental strength, enabled him to excel in the longest format of the game. He hit centuries across various conditions, establishing himself as a dependable batsman in the toughest scenarios. Kohli's excellence also extended to T20 cricket. His aggressive yet calculated approach in the shortest format, coupled with his ability to invent shots, made him a force to reckon with in T20 leagues and international competitions. One of the defining periods of Kohli's career came in 2016 when he took over the test captaincy from MS Dhoni. Under his leadership, India achieved significant victories, including historic series wins against Australia and England. His captaincy was marked by aggressive intent, strategic acumen, and the ability to rally the team in challenging situations. Throughout this period, Kohli's dedication to fitness became a focal point. He transformed himself physically, emphasizing agility and endurance, which not only improved his on-field performance but also set new standards in fitness for cricketers globally. Moreover, his consistent performances earned him achievements such as ICC Cricketer of the Year, national honors such as the Arjuna Award, second highest sporting honor in 2013, Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award, India's highest sporting honor. A stand has been renamed after his name at Feroz Shah Kotla Stadium, Delhi, in his honor. Kohli's cricketing journey has been nothing short of extraordinary, marked by an insatiable hunger for runs, leadership prowess, and an unwavering commitment to excellence, making him a cricketing icon admired worldwide. So much so that the modern-day legend is frequently compared to one of cricketers' greatest, Sachin Tendulkar. Considering the impact Tendulkar had in his 24-year-long career and the records he set, it is a testament to Virat Kohli's greatness that Sachin Tendulkar's name comes up whenever people discuss his achievements. 
Despite his immense success, Kohli has had his fair share of challenges in matches outside of India, especially in foreign tours where he had to adjust to different conditions. He was criticized and doubted for his ability when he struggled in some overseas series. He had a hard time against the swing bowling in England in 2014 and 2018, resulting in poor performances. He also found it difficult to score big runs on the bouncy and seeming pitches in South Africa in 2017 and 18. He had a poor run in the 2019 Test Series in New Zealand, where he couldn't cope with the swing and seam movements. In limited overs cricket, he had been successful in most of the away tours, but he also had some failures. His batting in some ICC tournaments outside India, like the ICC Champions Trophy in 2017, was not up to his usual standards. Virat also resigned from the captaincy of the Indian cricket team and the RCB franchise of IPL after leading them for almost seven years. Under his captaincy, India achieved many victories, especially in test cricket, where they topped the rankings and won historic series abroad. However, they couldn't win any ICC tournaments, including the Cricket World Cups, despite playing well. Similarly, in the IPL, Kohli's RCB couldn't win the title despite his consistent batting and leadership. Kohli's decision to quit both the captaincy roles of India and RCB showed that he intended to change his focus, concentrating on his individual performance and mental health without the extra burden of leadership. With these events already putting Kohli in a vulnerable state, COVID-19 arrived to further disrupt his performance. Since the whole world went into a standstill, cricket was no exception. This long break away from cricket proved to be a hindrance in his journey of recovery. But we all know just how resilient this man is. He cut through these temporary setbacks to return stronger than ever before. But Kohli's achievements as a human being go beyond his cricketing achievements. His marriage to Bollywood actress Anushka Sharma created a lot of buzz, showing a power couple that values their support and privacy. Kohli also engages in various social initiatives. He established the Virat Kohli Foundation, which aims to help underprivileged children support athletes and assist in disaster relief. He's a fitness enthusiast and encourages healthy living through his brand 1-8. Kohli's wealth comes from different sources. His cricketing success has led to profitable endorsements with global brands like Adidas, Audi, and Puma. His involvement with RCB in the IPL and captaincy of the Indian team also boosted his income. Apart from cricket, his brand value expands to business ventures. He co-owns the fitness chain Chisel and a clothing brand, Rogan. He also invests wisely in tech startups that increase his net worth. However, Kohli's value goes beyond money and is based on his influence and impact on cricket fans worldwide. His leadership, aggressive batting style, and dedication to fitness have motivated a generation of young cricketers. Kohli's role as a mentor and his commitment to various social causes show a well-rounded and influential figure respected both inside and outside the cricketing world. Finally, in the World Cup 2023, India built a super team to win it all. The team of India was so strong that they were the favorites. In the group stages, the team was unbeatable. With a team this strong and all the players with great form, the pressure was greater than ever for Virat Kohli to perform. India was also hosting the World Cup, making the pressure to reach its peak as Virat Kohli and the team didn't want to disappoint their loyal fan base. Despite all the criticisms for previous performances, Virat Kohli silenced the critics and the doubters with his superb form in the World Cup. He is the top scorer of the tournament with 765 runs in 11 innings in the biggest cricket event. He also beat the record for most hundreds in ODI cricket with 50 centuries after the semi-final were played, surpassing Sachin Tendulkar, who had 49 centuries. He scored 117 runs against the Kiwis, securing the win with his third hundred in the tournament. He has averaged 95.63 runs per inning in the tournament. He even took a wicket bowling only four overs in the tournament. With a determined Kohli in their arsenal, the men in blue prepared to create history in the finals of the ICC Cricket World Cup 2023. The day of the World Cup finally arrived on the 19th of November, the day the unbeaten team unfortunately met their first and final defeat. And in front of team India puts up a respectable total of 240 with a much needed contribution from Kohli, who scored 54 runs. Team Australia entered the field with a different mindset. Along with an incredible performance by Travis Head and Mitchell Stark, they managed to create the biggest upset in the World Cup by defeating the unbeatable team. Although India lost the cup, Virat Kohli's incredible talents earned him the honor of the player of the tournament. Thanks to his incredible 765 runs, the highest by any player in a single World Cup tournament, 
But all that is merely a consolation prize, as Cricket's greatest prepares to bring a World Cup to his and India's name, and the challenge that dream brings.